previously. Now, I will note, before we get started, I was told that this one is going to kick so I'm really excited. 47 minutes. I'm ready. You are not playing what I think you're playing. I can be, I'm, 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 Clearly, I'm playing some wing beast. On progression series season, season two. two. I mean, I would feel so angry right now. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have three? Oh my god! I mean, I'm gonna sink bro for seven into X Saber or Bellum. Let's oh my go! No! Oh, you mean to tell me I've gotten three beast? And five do lords? In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh! booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. <gasps> However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released. More sets. Thank you for the prime. You're a lady who uh, constantly upgrading thank you our decks for the before 500. Have you watched Josh Schmidt's video episode. on this exact this subject? This time around, we'll uh, be no, introducing uh, but I would sets, like a new banning system, and plenty of other fun surprises that you <clears> just have to watch to find out. This uh, is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Lago Series Morph Girl, uh, Season Thank you for two. the subscription. Uh, Nana Mone one, thank you for the four. Jaspi, uh, thank you for the three. If you want five percent off, off any singles, singles or sealed product, product click, the affiliate click the affiliate link in the link description, in the description and use code CMO5. CMO5. And click Wartex, your thank you for the dollar. dollar. Hey Joseph, it's crazy how we all agreed to toilets. To Imagine we just never invented them and instead kept running content. around pissing and shitting. Anyway, if you want clean and hygiene based five percent, use the code CMO5 and brush your teeth. Very true. Nightflyer EXE, thank you for the eleven. Uh, Chazaria, thank you for the ten. Uh, Miso twenty six, thank you for the four. Uh, Bobo Invalid, thank you for the 19. CW Taylor, thank you beginning. for the 10. Right. What are we banning? Harpy's Feather Duster. Alex Animateur, Earth thank you for the 100. No, uh, Ziziki, thank you for the 6. Jail Schmix Remix, thank you for the 11. Dan Barnes Yu Gi Oh, thank you for the sub. ADM RVP, thank you for the 26. Synth Drake 02, thank you for the, for the 2. Urkash, thank you for the Prime. 0 Point Aim Games, thank you for the sub. Evil Myself, thank you for the 5. Guz Mata, thank you for the 5. Opens up a strategy uh, that maybe the other person can't access because the lack of the card. Air the Oracle, thank you for the board. Angry Rob, thank you for the 13. Like Princely Crow, Duster, thank you for the 18. Haymakers of Master Duels, 117, thank you for the 15. I don't think we're at that point yet. Rykep, like, thank you for the year. Powerful cards too. Remember, Soggy Enema, thank you for gifting a sub to Dyer. Garbo Trasho, thank you for the 31. Avalanche, thank you for the 16. Elbird Logan, thank you for the Prime. Sky Docks, thank you for the 3. Once they get too frustrating to the point, we'll just agree to like stir, think of the eight. Or judgment them out of the way. Ruxin, um, thanks for so the raid. Slend Dragon, think of the eighteen. We'll those then. But cards like Potagree, Prime Numera, Duster, thank you for the eleven. Radis Mage, thank you for the eight. Fun. A lot more variants. So with a little bit of thought, Storm Talon, thank you for the sub. One of the only Crow, things that Alex has over me, and it's a very frustrating strategy. My feet small, thank you for the prime. El Pigo four, thank you for the twenty-one. Oh. Um. I'm going to be honest with you, this is fine. Anything that gets them to stop playing Spy is, is okay with me. I'm, I'm sick of this fucking uh, DM-ass format. I do not. We are on the Doctor Strange Show, thank you for the 20. Which gives that deck a whole uh, Arison, air. thank you for the Paired 22. Descendant. Yordle Hehu, thank you for the 22. I can't believe you cock me, me during Coder Subathon. I can. Flare Star, thank you for the 8. Donkey Ton, thank you for the 25. Enraged Peacock, thank you for the 6. Minty 582, thank you for the 17. Armac, thank you for the 16. Dolan Spark, thank you for the 14. T Dragon, thank you for the 20. Well, well, ladies and gentlemen, wasn't expecting to find myself in the banning to be. Oh, there's two bannings because he won a lost a three of. Completely honest. Total PowerPoint, thank you for the 7. Jacob Bond, thank you for the 11. RC Dan, thank you for the 2. Your boy Pickles, thank you for the Prime. Mejo Jello Feller, thank you for the Prime. We do Trash, thank you for the Prime. Diamond Dave L, thank you for the 2 years. Well, if I'm not going to be using them, then. What's up with the audio? It feels like it's desync. Just a little bit. Jay Brainless Jay, thank you for the no nine. No one is able Q -Bob, to use thank you for them. the so ten. For my banning, I am going to ban Blackwing Bora the Spear. We just ban fucking Black Whirlwind. If you don't want people to play this, ban Black Whirlwind. But also correct. Uh, this deck was very playable the entire time, and I thank God that they didn't fucking play it. But uh, you didn't need Shore. I mean, Shore is crazy, of course, but you didn't need it. We are going to spear this deck uh, into oblivion. Chicken of DEA, thank you for the six. No uh, the Joseph Rothschild built like Diavolo the Mind Hacker. Come on. Jim Bob James, thank you for the six. Uh, do it, Broly, thank you for the 14. Maxstar, thank you for the 10. A three uh, Lone Oki, thank you for the 10. Ike is Hope. Wow, we're only seven back. We could do this. Let me tell you, I don't even care that I had to sit Holy shit, are we caught up? Draken, thank you for the prime. Blue Fury, one, thank you for the 12. Corinna, thank you for the five. Fizzy Dad, thank you for the 500. Locals. 
last question on locals. What are your thoughts on the playset of triple tax thrust? I know people who don't think three is really the most optimal. I'm trying out two right now in my pure adventure. What do you think? I think people have decided zero is correct. I'm playing two in math mech because I think it's uniquely positioned to play the card uh, because it has uh, a, like a, a fantastic wealth of it, but I probably wouldn't be caught dead playing three. I like the two one with the talents, to be honest. Mr. Fam Squad, thank you for the 14. Uh, and Tommy Chu, thank you for the 17. I'm done with those Blackwing strategies. I got the one-off revenge oh, win that I needed for deck. all the hell that I got put through. Yeah, I would probably one. play two in Really that. feeling like I'm in an element of my own. I feel like we can't lose, and especially with the deck that I have built today. I think it's going to be a slaughter. What could also be a potential slaughter is what I get on this wheel today. Again, anything <laughs> on the... Did Gage get a haircut? He's looking nice. Wheel is like absolutely... Does Gage get his eyebrows done? He's got nice eyebrows. Huge. I just want to avoid... Listen, like, I'm not gay. Tickets. However, and I think I've got enough redoer tickets to go around. Any other slice on the wheel could be huge. So let's see what we can get today. Give it a couple clicks. Really looking for a yes, Starlight or a promo wheel. Tons of opportunities with those slices in particular. Um, and I can never say no to an unbanned ticket. We'll take a super. But a wild card super? What was the last set we opened? Gold series? Hidden Arsenal. Something out of there. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's Hidden Arsenal. <laughs> Super's got to count for secret there, right? There's only two rarities. <laughs> it took. I got excited when I thought it was gold series. Ah, I got to take a... All right, so we can actually see a little bit about what Gage has been looking up in the background. You can see that he's been Googling New York, Texas toast air fryer. New York, Texas toast air fryer. What, is, what does he want with the New York, Texas toast air fryer? Wait, hold the fuck up. 24,000 messages... Clean your fucking inbox. Gage needs a manager badly. Card from Hidden Arsenal 2. Rebecca, I offer my your luck services. Is always shit when I really need some good cards, right? <clears throat> There's not a lot in Hidden Arsenal 2, but I think we're following the same. Let me actually tell you how many how many unread emails I have. Let me check. Um, my old account, I have zero that are not promotions or socials. Uh, my business account, I have one. Uh, and my personal account, I have three. And they are all from stream. The uh, the gold series that we did, where since there's only two rare. Let this be. Four, if you're watching this on YouTube, there, uh, take some time, pause the video, uh, or let the, the video run. Perfect background music. No, Check your fucking no, emails. Rare and super. God, I get like a fucking super rare. I actually do get scammed. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> How can I? How's Alex? Dude, go get a secret. Just don't tell him. Starlight, you get snatch deal. I haven't spun a snatch deal this entire season. Gage, if you read this, I'll work with you. Damn it, bro. I don't even know. Give me an Aturia Rose Whip. I'll make it work. <laughs> Give me a rope. Your job uh, to Gage is every morning you have to wake him up. You have to go, hi, Gage. Please fucking do this. Fuck off. Dude. I can't. Let's get into Duelist Revolution. It's like he's arguing. Unfortunately, not a great wheel spin. But <laughs> I say something, Gage goes, fuck insane. off. It's like he's here with me. Duelist Revolution, one of the most iconic sets in Yu-Gi-Oh!'s history. Uh, I'm really excited to open it. Lots of great cards in this set. Last episode. What's the difference? You're the same. Talk Fuck you. I get stuff done occasionally. Talk about last episode. Oh, I have to pay uh, Jules for something that she did game a week entirely. and a half ago, I don't actually. know where my headspace was at. And we don't talk about the fact that Gage was playing Black Wings. And uh, hopefully things are going to be different this time around. Can I wake now, Gage up with Duelist a kiss Revolution on the forehead? Yes. Yeah. set released on August 17th, 2010. Oh, cool. And you might think Duelist Revolution and think to yourself, isn't that set crazy? That set has Pot of Duality. That set has Solemn Warning. That set has Effect Baylor. And you'd be correct. And those are are like the only three good cards in the entire set maybe i'm being yep. a bit harsh i think he is um duelist revolution has a lot of interesting stuff in it um i i think there's a lot of uh synchros that he's just like not really con uh, I'm looking at the super rares there it. is scrap archfiend which is like an okay generic synchro scraps in, scrap archfiend is insane it opens up a ton of strategy it's also a scrap like uh, people forget it's a vanilla they're like oh it doesn't do anything but it's a scrap there's so many cards that care so much about that like the scraps are so broken and limited they're just this endless conga line of assholes that also produce these high attack monsters access but like amazon is heirloom is, is even worth a consideration else in the super rare slot not super rush not bad great. i guess there's some fun uh, stuff thunder unicorn all, all the all the uh, corns the ultimate are rares we'll skip those because those are obviously duplicates um Synchro Fusionist is potentially good in like 45 years. The rare slot, again, uh, like Horn of the Phantom Beast, crazy, very good card. Stuff is Wait, is okay. Vlad, Vlad Horn Cameo? Horn of the Phantom Beast is kind of sick, I suppose. But like, that's it. And then going down here, we have the Ghost Rare, which is like arguably one of the worst Ghost Rares oh, ever printed. Fuck off. Secret Draco Kiss is yeah, great. Duality's fantastic. But uh, everything else in here, right, I don't talk really about think we want most of this. I guess so like you, Ref Panel would be you funny. Want. Miracle's Wake is like okay. You actually don't but, need like, any of this. Yeah, you're right. But like everything else is like kind of whatever. And then the commons, like... 
Okay, so uh, Scrap Goblin is big. These are the wrong Watts, sadly. Um, the Amazonists are great if you get Heirloom exactly. Um, AD Changer does stuff a little later, but uh, actually he's right. This There's is a terrible set. okay stuff. Like, I'm really trying to find the silver lining here. AD Changer's like an okay card. Uh, double Miracle Synchro Cyclone, uh, Dubs I guess. Is not yeah, it, it's looking a bit bleak for today's episode in terms of cards that can really turn the series around. But if we are lucky... Wait, is that Flameville best cards ...in here, then that'll be a nice card to add to our collection. Speaking of adding cards to our collection, we do have to open our uh, three pity packs, being Turbo Pack 3. So let's flip them up, see what we get for our first one. Uh, Retiari, I don't think Glads are so online. Oh, there's another Steelacanth, though. Very funny. Uh, no Colossal Fighter to go with it, though. Second pack, Dark Eruption's kind of neat. I think we're good on uh, Kaikus. And, Kaikus, cloak and yeah. dagger, and the third pack we get another, another Kaiku, Ooh. a diamond dude, and another Retiari. Uh, that's all going into the bulk bin because we don't need any of it. We've got 24 packs of Duelist Revolution to open, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get into it. I hope they get a Potter Duality, man. That would be so hyped to see one of the most iconic I fucking, cards. I of love this era Gage so much. Uh, Finds like the, the, the highest rarity thing. Oh, I hope we get the consistency. Looks like we're not getting that as our secret rare. We're getting Miracle's so Wake, sad. which I forgot that's was the so secret rare. So sad. Target one monster that was destroyed. This is maybe worth playing. Special. This is like not good. That it, I, I will say it is not good. And then Delta Flyers, okay. Delta Flyer is probably better than Miracle's Wake. Summoning Curse, the Corey McDuffie special. Rest in peace, my guy. Synchro Fusionist is actually huge. I was talking a lot about this a lot on stream. I think this is one of the more unexplored cards. Something that could. He's spitting. He's spitting. So there's a couple of decks in the history of Jank that we're going to have a really hard time with. Um, One is Blue-Blooded Oni FTK. I think legitimately we're just going to have to call Vera and get her to play it in our stead because we have no fucking clue how to play it. The other is Synchro Fusionist. This is responsible during like um, uh, 2015 Nats format for one of the most involved combo decks of all time. And God, it's just a hassle could definitely come up later on in our series. I just think this card has a lot of potential. If you use it as synchro material, you're able to search a polymerization or a fusion card and add it to hand. It's incredible. We have one card in particular that is very banned right now that has the word fusion in it. Can anybody guess what it is? I'll save you the time to think. It's Dimension Fusion. Dimension Fusion is quite powerful. You can search it with Synchro Fusion. Oh, I didn't even think about that. That's so cute. That's kind of neat. Elephant is a common that has had some niche use. I think yeah, it's, it's because right. it's a level two beast. I think Trabrigate recently tried catching. to do something with it. 24 packs of Duelist Revolution coming right up. Uh, should be a rather quick opening. Vlad, jump scare! We know what we're looking for here, and it's all down here in this corner. Uh, Hypnocorn's not a terrible card, but uh, again, there's plenty of other ones that we are wishing for. Scrap Golem's not bad. I mean, that could actually be useful later on for if, like, Orcus is a possible strategy. It was in It'd season one of Prague, so have Having this is actually not terrible. Okay, well, I didn't need two of them. We just needed one scrap. Just play scrap. We were be all cool. Be, be, play Synchro scrap. Fusionist is quite funny. There was like an entire deck at one point, I believe, that centralized around this little card. But uh, I don't think true. we have the materials Very to true. make this deck, nor do I think it was from around this time. I think that came out way later. Scrap Golem and AD Changer. I'm Slim looking Dragon at three AD the Changers Dr. because Novice this can make some absolute three. cheese with Jar decks. I know it's super entangled true. being able to flip like their battle jar positions. Shit. Um, and then Scrap Golem actually comes up a lot later. This card's really nice. And of course, weird Scrap decks. Uh, later on down the line, when Scrap Wyvern gets released, this doesn't even have its first reprint. So this is a nice card to get. Horn of the Phantom Beast. I was looking at this one too. Great rare card to be able to pair with Gladiator Beast. Again, still something on our shelf. If we can pull an unban and maybe unban Gladiator Beast uh, bestiary, there's always potential there. Uh, great card to have. There's always deck. money in the Second Horn of the Phantom Beast. All right, that's pretty good. I'd, I'd like actually three horns. I think that'd be pretty good. Haven't gotten many hollows. I think the <laughs> secret that we got at the beginning is the best Will thing we've gotten so bad. far. Will power is actually a good card. It. I haven't gotten anything else. You know, Delta Flyer is actually not a terrible, not terrible. rare. Yeah. This card is actually kind of relevant for when we get to, like, Dragon Rulers and stuff later. The fact it has, like, level modulating capabilities is quite good. And so uh, a bit of an inconspicuous card, but I'm happy to see this. Unfortunately, we're about I'm halfway to get in through the, the opening. And uh, that is our first hollow dick, of the entire dick, opening. Destroyer. That's what I was just about to say. Scrap, uh, Storm. Scrap Storm, not the one that we want. We're looking for either an Ultra or a Secret Rare. But uh, I, don't know. I guess you, we'll you take it. That's our first hollow. About Scrap and Storm. there's an Ultra Rare. I guess we're getting a little bit closer. Closer, but Voltic it's a generic at least the card that we want sadly uh, a little bit too difficult for us to summon and uh, Wait, is it not a generic to, fuck could. another super rare in paradox fusion again terrible card we're not Awful. gonna be playing yeah, it at the good. end of the day there's only three good cards in the whole set if we get them we get them if not I don't think we're really missing much another AD changer I think that's the second thunder the second tuner summoning curse oh. too coming on the last four packs here hypno corn shout out to Vlad all right last Vlad jump chair don't care wait 
two packs, a Guts of Steel, anything big in the clothes, an Amazonas Village. That we should re-roll this. Really not good. I got like none of the really <sighs> iconic hollows. Cards like Solemn but Warning. But nothing guaranteeing you would have gotten them anyway. At. I mean, But I think uh, I scored pretty well with the rares, right? Yeah, the rares I are pretty good. I got one Synchro. We could even maybe play Chain good. Whirlwind. Two Horn of the like, Phantom there, there's some stuff that's maybe worth gold. playing from here. Which is all good I don't stuff think there's later, a lot, but maybe. I don't think maybe. those reprints until rather on later in the game. But there's so much potential, man. There's like Scrap Dragon, Duality, Warning. Do I spend a respin on this? No, no, no. You know what? I'm known to gamble. I think we're pretty deep into 5Ds anyways. We should get three more at the start of XYZ era. Let's spend another one. We're going to go for 24 more packs. Oh my god, I don't want to fucking Hopefully this time, this. you're a little bit more lucky. I oh, hope I don't get shafted and not Alex is going to do it too. They're pretty good rares, but I'm looking for better hollows. Duelist Revolution, can we do better the second time around? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Knight Draco Quest. <laughs> the Ghost up. Rare, Miracle of course. Synchro. Go figure. And Hypnocorn. Shout out to Hypnocorn. Wait scrap a minute. <laughs> beast. Getting a little bit better. The scrap is that Hypnocorn? Okay, Beast is uh, a good scrap. my first competitive decks. Fun fact, I actually took this deck to a Locals, and then I got it stolen from me because I left it there. All my fault. I really can't blame any. Tenth pack game. I would blame no someone. No more hollows. And the I fuck? What kind of mindset is that? My fault. Can't really blame anyone. Yes, you can. Do it. Oh my god, Gage. He's got to spend more time with me. I can teach you to blame others. I haven't gotten the good rares again. I'm actually kind of upset. I really want Synchro Fusion. That's, you know what that is? That's the literally like, my bike got stolen, but the amount of happiness in the world increased. You know what happened when that shit would happen to me? I'd go, God damn it! I think there's something cheesy with that. My fault. I, really I got robbed. Delta Flyer. Oh my B. There. Okay, there's the refund on the Synchro Fusionist. I'm happy to pick that up. Love to see some horns of the Phantom <laughs> Beasts again, along with some hollows. Which just, for Guts some reason, steel. are avoiding me right Guts now. What's the deal? Where are they at? Golem. Okay. Yep. All right. This is looking like a repeat of last time. Golem. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is looking like a repeat of last time. Yeah. <laughs> That's the hollow I get is friggin' Scrap Storm. But what about Super Ambitious Go? I got four more you know? packs left. I better see one more, man. Otherwise, I'm going to get real angry. This refund has not been kind to me. This refund. Stop! Heirloom! Heirloom. What the fuck am I? I'm not going to play okay Amazonist. Card. Fuck you! Oh, my God. Okay, last pack. We ended up worse than we started. Yep. Now I'm down Classic. two more to the Phantom Beast, and now I'm just sad. Mm. Oh, well, I mean, it, I'm not going to act like it hasn't happened. I think Alex has re-ruled for zero cards in particular at one yep. point, so it is what it is. I remember there's a point in Yu-Gi-Oh's history where uh, Summoning Curse was actually quite hyped up in the community. Oh, I think we hyped the fuck out of like that card, like 19 players, 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 and the people were going crazy for the stupid. I think it only We are very dumb. We never learn a goddamn thing. And it ended up being like this ridiculously expensive common for a very <clears> short period of time. Very funny times in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh's history. All right, you guys, only a few packs left. And uh, honestly, this is about what I expected from this set, although I wasn't expecting to get a secret rare. Sadly, it is not the secret rare that we want. It is Psychic Nightmare. This needs, what, a tuner and one non-tuner Psychic Monster? So that's not, like, impossible to make just because we have, uh, what yeah. is it, Krebon? So that's actually kind of doable. Let's see what he does. Once per turn during your main phase, you can pick a random card in your opponent's hand. Yeah, this card's Call very what type bad. of card it is, monster, spell, or trap. If you call it right, this card gains a 1,000 attack until your opponent's end phase so like eh, i mean it's a level six and if we can make it like i guess there are worse cards we could have it is what it is i guess like you know there are worse you read it wrong it's a tuner plus set. a non-tuner psychic you thought it was a tuner psychic plus a non-tuner psychic it's a hundred percent fact let's see we get our second to last pack uh that's like our ninth battle fucker. fantastic just what i wanted to see and that's nothing else too crazy in don't, the don't bother okay well we ended up getting one secret one ultra two supers that's yeah. like what about average for like a booster box from this time i think I'm alex should have been like we'll way more liberal with his uh his rerolls early like this season but who cares Baylor honestly one warning i guess like it's he's doable, already ahead i just i don't think it's worth a redo or ticket so let's get to building i've got some ideas alex had a pretty cool list last time around It's the same fucking deck. First, we stole Black Wings. Now we're stealing Weladad. We are just stealing all of Alex's decks. I think we could do better. This is my take on Weladad, but it's actually technically I wish I was dead's take on Weladad. I think. <laughs> we I wish I was Weladad. I well, I was dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was dad. That's it. We have a lot of cards in our card pool that are specifically better than Alex. We got to get an I wish I was dead uh, emote. Engine, but there really wasn't much potency fact, to actually, it. Actually, let me, let me find I wish I was dead's uh, profile picture.
I'm looking for it. Got it. It appears to be the guy from Smiling Friends if he was getting ratatouille Which is nice, I would say. Uh, that's... Mm, that's not exactly what I wanted. Let's go to Lunapic and see if we can't clean it up. Uh, uh, let's go background removal tools. Automatic background removal for photos. Did it work? Let's find out. Oh my god, it kind of did. Oh, it lo oh my god, wait, no, that's disgusting. Uh, uh okay, um... Okay, let's um put this here. Yeah, we'll we'll do it in, in, in this. Uh let's go transparent. How do you do transparent? Oh my god, I fucking hate Luna Pick. Oh my god. Uh Eraser tool. Oh my god. They're gonna make me do this like I'm a fucking animal. Look at this. Oh my god, look at this. What do you think this is fucking nineteen ninety nine? Look what I look what I've been reduced to. Manually cutting this out with a fucking circle brush. You're kidding me. Oh my god. You know I went to college, right? Oh my god. I shouldn't have to do this. We're gonna we're gonna take this too. If you don't get your fucking there we go. Beautiful. The problem is that it's too beautiful. Chat, you you all aren't gonna get horny if you see this, right? Okay, there we go. Uh good enough is what I'll say. Then we gotta make it a square. That's B Funky's job. <clears throat> I need you to shut up begging. Come on. Begging, are you? Ooh, there we go. Oh, it looks great. It looks wonderful. We've spent five minutes on this now. You know what? Let's spend another five minutes on it. That's why you're uh, a legend. Let's move one of these. Oh, we can lose the CSM emote, I guess. We No, we can lose that emote. That emote fucking sucks. I was wondering why we had that the other day. We're going to have to do a subathon just to get the rest of the remote, uh, the rest of the emotes. Okay, it's going to be M-B-T-Y-G-O-I-W-W-D. All right, great. Back to reality. We have the addition of a singular copy of Mizuki, which is actually insanely good in this <clears> back here. I'm actually going to fix one thing. We're going to end up taking out a dust tornado, and we're going to side an extremely powerful I literally game. sent the Weladad list to Gage before the episode of Simo playing Weladad came out. I was like, shit, he did it first. Back against the right matchup. Dimension fusion might come up, and it might be insane at the right moment. One of the things is, of course, Mizuki banishing itself to reborn another zombie. Uh, that's already food for Dim Fizz. Being able to bring back stuff in general uh, can make for some really potent plays. Plague Spider Zombie has a really good home in here. We got double Armageddonite to be able to sift through the majority of the deck. Dumping Krebons. God, I love the level well. leader. And the level leader in the same deck is the, uh, the card. Level leader is, is another so free good. thing that we want to dump off a painful choice. Paired with a card like Card of Safe Return, we can draw like infinite cards off the mix and just, you know, OTK Alex. And then Magical Scientist is also something that is extremely cheeky in this deck. Let me tell you, this is absolutely crazy to be able to pull it off a last will out of nowhere, win games. Trap effects don't matter when you got Ryu Senshi up on the field. Balter gets over any flip effects like Raikou, that might be a problem. Magical Scientist, 
back then was really good, and it's just as good as it is now. Altogether, I think Alex's idea of well, a dad was really good, but I think our card pool is just better, and I think this game that we played today really might reflect that. I feel like it's really solid. Can't go solid up against something like Volume Great Keeper. I'm pretty sure banning Space Descendant kind of puts him in the same mentality like the deck. Dead. Uh, one not worth small it. And that's really good for us because a card like Necro Valley could actually really screw with some of our zombie strategies, uh, especially <laughs> the telekinetic power well. Now that that's off the table, I feel like this choice uh, is good against absolutely What did the W everything. stand for? Oh, well, like well, today. telekinetic power well. Four. Would you believe it? Over e-call because it was at one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is what we are bringing to today's. That's why you're a what the fuck is this? It's like fairies, but missing 80% of the deck. Like, it looks like it's trying to be fairies. It's on, like, Alchemist, Shining Angel, like, DD, Assailant. But it's missing, like, the Heralds, the Christia, the other two Alchemist. The honest, <laughs> like all the cards that make it playable. What are it's just it's like fairy chaos, but yeah, I'm a little confused actually. What is Shining Angel meant to go into here? Just the DD Assailant, right? That's the only target. Duel, I want to shout out E3 Yu Gi Oh for helping me come up with this concoction. Keegan, what are you doing? <laughs> You <laughs> Gage is on constructed Welladad, and you're like, no, you gotta play fairies, but there's but all the fairies are gone. Because uh, this looks like a lot of fun. I figure we should try to take advantage of some it of does the look chaos fun. tools that we uh, have. I, I did. I, know I thinking, smelled oh, Keegan's go, influence on it because this was the uh, the first episode where someone has correctly figured out the dimensional alchemist is insane. 45 episodes. Finally, someone has learned that this card is nuts. Take advantage of some of the chaos tools that we have. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, no. Here we go. Chaos again. This That's a That'd be a good sound clip. Oh, no. Here we go. This is like a different chaos list than we've seen before. So cut me some slack, okay? There's some cool shit. Why don't I cut you some do. piss? Let's go and do the card by it's card. So time, we have just a handful of bombs, That's including like BLS, Double legend. Chaos, Sork, a Dark Arm Dragon, as well as a Caius. And then we have some all-star chaos monsters, such as Gale, which also happens to be a tuner, which happens to be a starter striking out. The full three suite of DD Warrior Lady. This card's unlimited, ladies and gentlemen. And we've pulled multiple over the course of all the reprint sets that we've had. So I'm happy to be able to give this for a test drive. This card's just really annoying to deal with in a lot of instances we have dimensional alchemists as well very sad we only pulled one of this this was from a gold series and it was a gold rare but nonetheless dimensional alchemist in a chaos deck is pretty sick because of the recursion capabilities there's some neat stuff we can do with this card speaking of neat cards we're also on two copies of junk synchron because we are able to resurrect cards such as our magician of faith such as our raiko and with cards like sukiyomi we can flip those down flip them up and get additional value even after we've already used them one time maybe they've been destroyed by battle so junk synchron does more than just actually make level five synchro monsters it's able to actually get a lot of value as well in this deck we're playing some recruiters like two tomato and two angel to fetch whatever we need of course we have sangen as well one necro gardener to be able to dump off a of painful choice but just like a nice card all around anyway and plague spreader zombie is another tuner to allow us to access our synchro pool that's it for the monsters there's a lot of them. 23. listen chad i love these pants i think they look good but they are not breathable an instant fusion and mst painful choice uh, this in this deck i think is absurd because depending on i'm creating a biome we have we can just dump in my, everything in my Drawers. Pot of greed pre you know those like guys who will like create an, traps, an internally consistent tribute. Uh, extra, like rainforest for within a jar. Fusion, honestly, I think that I'm doing nice that with my nuts. Depending on if we have maybe a synchro play, we have a three, a four, and a five. According <laughs> this to is the progression reaction, folks. Welcome to my most popular thing I do on stream. A black wing dragon, a black wing armor master. Anyone here for the first time? You like what you see? Well, there's way more of that coming up. So this card is just not bad. We have a Brio, a Magical Android, a Mistworm, a Psychic Life Trancer, a Red Dragon Archfiend, and Double Stardust. The side deck, my How the fuck are we still talking about this? I'm going to hit something like Bora the Spear, he hit something like Gravekeeper's Descendant. I don't think his Gravekeeper package is like that good, but my thinking is he'll just default to something like Monarch because that's what he was playing like the last His few audio is just a little decent. So he's going to play I Monarch. What it is. I have like 12 cards in here just to absolutely ruin his day. We have DD Crows for the Frogs. We have Kaiku for like the whole <laughs> deck. We have Removal in the form of Dark Hole and Double Smashing Grab. 
ground. We have Dust Tornado in case he's playing some background run sense. And then we have Double Masker tri Triple pulling the rug. Like, this might be overkill in all honesty, but I'm thinking it he's is. going to play Monarch, so I just want to have everything wrong. possible to make Very sure wrong. we win the match and get out of the banning, uh. because I think that's just for the better. So, I'm happy to give this deck a test drive. I can't wait to see how it performs. Ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Hee-ha! Hee-haw! Hee-haw! Gage, 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 Duelist Revolution. Uh, I don't know how much of a revolution this set was for today's episode, but the real revolution was in the banning section today. Double banning doesn't happen very often in the progression series, okay, but uh, how are you feeling? I, you know what? Like I said, man, Bora hardly knew her. I got my revenge for the season. <laughs> there we go. All the shit you put much me better. through. I'm happy enough. I can let it go. Uh, but, but I'm excited to see that you don't got Gravekeepers on your radar anymore without the Sendin. Yeah, I was thinking about it. I'm like, it's it's so hard at this point with bannings to figure out what we're going to ban for one another. Because we either have to ban a card that we both own or we have... Dog, hurry up. ...to go for, like, the peripheral one of random card that, like, helps, like, one of our, like, seven decks that we can play. Right. And so I, at, for me, I was like, all right, Gage, this has gone too far. I'm not going to let you do this to me with Black Wings ever again. So I just decided to put a knife in the Black Wings once and for all, which to be fair, I could still lose to like Sirocco beatdown. That's pretty <laughs> doable, but <laughs> yeah. uh, we'll see. We'll see. I, I am excited to see though, now that like Black Wings are uh, neutered even more now than they were before, what strategies we're going to bring to the table now. Unfortunately, though, with today's set, uh, Kind of, I feel like RJ puts it best. A lot of people feel like this set was really good in retrospect, but in all honesty, it has like three cards. <laughs> it does, and the three cards are like some of the most iconic cards of like, I think the new age of Yu-Gi-Oh coming I in. I agree. Cards like Effect Veiler was huge, Pot of Duality, Solemn Warning. These are all haymakers, like legendary cards yeah. from back in the day. But uh, yeah, you, you're kind of right. There's not too much. Uh, however, you're the one that had to read all about it, so I'm sure you kind of figured that out as you read through. The what list. do you mean? I'm playing three copies of Summoning Curse in today's episode. Uh, you know, just a fantastic uh, staple of 2015 Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Yeah, Corey McDuffie would be proud, bro. He would be. He would be. Rest in peace, buddy. Rest in peace. Let's go ahead and shout the patron anthem of the world. Thank okay, got it. Okay, we're back. Support. We're back. And, buddy. I just, I got to get out of the banning. I, I don't know how much more I could take this. And rock, paper, scissors, not off to a good start. Right, I get the pick, though. I mean, I'll, <laughs> I'm not making mistakes like you were last time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll decide to go second. I still think it's the best here. Take my yeah. free card. I do best think it's ideal as well. All right. I, I, I'm going to be, I'm going to try to be on my A game this time. I feel like the last all few right. episodes I've been like out of it. So we'll, we'll see here. Uh, all right. We'll go stand by main. And uh, I've, I've got a nice simple turn for you, buddy. I'm just going to go T set and pass. Go ahead. Oof, man, not scary enough for me. I'll draw for turn. Stand by in the main phase. See you're cooking up. All right, man. That's why you're this is going to be one of the most powerful activations of the season so far. I'm going to start off with the painful choice. Okay, okay. all, all right. right, funny the, moments the are over. Start here, let's see what you're done. see what we got. You, this is, I, okay, you. this is the I wish I was dead difference, by the way. This is the I wish I was dead difference. What do you got, what do you got from Simo? Oh, over the next two turns, I could normal summon Caius. Good, for sure. I don't give a fuck, painful choice. Ready to see what I'm on today? I'm not, I'm not, yeah. honestly. If Bop you dump off. like Bayou, Bop I'm gonna off. be like Bop crying. Off. Here's what I'm gonna uh, select. Both lists play painful choice and who drew it. For you, okay? Okay, what do you got? I'm gonna pick a copy of Krebons. Okay. I'm gonna pick a copy of Krebons. Oh, we're playing my deck, <laughs> I see, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna pick a copy of Krebons. Sure, that's fine. Would <laughs> you like to go for I'm... Plague Spreader as the fourth one here? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with a copy of Plague Spreader. And then to top it off, Alex, I'll go with a copy of Level Eater. Okay. Uh, I hate every single one of these cards. Narfra, so thank you for the... We're really getting to the point where painful six. What if you went back and started reacting to your own prog playoffs videos now. from the beginning? It's not like Ooh. before where it's like, oh yeah, nope. here's like the best spell. I, I didn't watch that shit the first time. I never see the rest for the rest of the game. All these cards have incredibly good value. I'm just going to give you the Level Eater. I figured. I'll take yeah, it. it's what like a, what a baby. I don't really feel like there's like that good of a choice here. I don't want to give you plague because then you get to like use you just it. Just like twice, normals a two and then sense. goes. So I feel you know like what? Actually, if he has a three star tuner, we could just well for his entire him, life so. savings. We'll see. Let's see what else you got. All right, I'm gonna start with telekinetic power well. Oh, <laughs> they're all I'm coming summon, back. I'm summoning back the three Krebons from the bin. All three of them. Okay, so you're gonna take it's uh, literally Jover times it's level Jover times six, so eighteen hundred big ones. Oh man, hardly a cost to get back three of one of the I best know. tuners in the game. <laughs> <You go> plus <laughs> two seems pretty yeah. good. Uh, I'll summon Goblin Zombie. Sure. 
<laughs> All right, cool. Uh, I will synchro summon with Crevons and Gar <laughs> You're fucking with me, dog. Goblin Zombie into Bryonic, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, and I'll Oops. mandatory trigger the Goblin. Oh, my fucking lord. We go Bryonic, Pitch, Level Eater, Pa, or I mean, pitch level leader, something else. Get them both. Level leader, level leader loops. Oh, it's fine. Goblin zombie. See, this is what I was trying to do last episode. Yeah. It just didn't <laughs> See, happen. <laughs> this is where the value comes in because I have a card that you don't. I'm able to get Mizuki. That's oh! pretty good. Uh, <laughs> Any Mizukers in chat? The the goblin zombie here, which is pretty massive when I pair it with Brio here in a yeah. second. For my Brionic Dragon of the Ice Barrier, I will use its effect one time at the moment here and one I time at the moment shit is now down. once per turn sure. okay uh i'll use the effect again i'll just pitch the level leader and i'll put target your face down monster too it's fine by me okay uh i'll activate mizuki to bring back the goblin zombie sure it's literally jover the game is now done god this card's really not once per turn that's awesome nope. it's not um, it's crazy i'm gonna go for another six with the let me make sure actually hold on let me do some mathematics real quick Okay, yeah, I'm overthinking this. Okay, uh, I'm going to activate Plague Spreader in the grave, actually. I'm going to stack this card to the top of my deck. Yep. We'll bring back the, the Spreader Zombie. And then I will banish him and the Goblin Zombie. I'll uh -huh. make Iron Chain Dragon. Oh, is this lethal? I'll trigger the Goblin Zombie again. Sure. Okay. Uh, this is off literally of this just zombie, lethal. I'll just grab a Spirit Reaper from deck to hand. <laughs> Seems pretty good. I don't know how much more you got going on over there. I got I got moves. I got moves. Um, I'll level eat off of the Brionic. Just to summon this back. Yeah, sure. This is so sick. Level then, five. Yeah, I'll go battle phase. We'll go in with everything here. So go six, in with everything. 12, six, 12, 24, 23, and twenty-five. Not dead, but barely alive. Close. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll go main phase two. Is it two? I will take the iron chain and the crebons, put them into Stardust Dragon. Seems pretty good. And then five, six, seven, eight. I can get <laughs> there had to be a way to kill him. <laughs> nah, I'll, I'll just set a card and I'll pass. See, like, I, everyone was giving me shit for this deck last week. And I'm like, look what this deck can do. This oh. Got him. <laughs> nice fucking snatch deal, dumbass. Oh, that, 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 <laughs> would... not, apparently not good enough. God damn it. My draw <laughs> is sick, too. Oh, cool oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, I can, I guess. Oh, oh God. God. Bro, I that think that I'm invincible, power. dude. <laughs> so good. That's what I want to see from progression series. More of that. I'm so I'm not that I'm hand mad was like about mid. that last game, but I'm more that upset that hand. that's like what my deck could have been doing in the. That was by episode. the way. That was what. That was goblin zombie. Uh, painful choice. Uh, power well. Okay, that's crazy. Yeah, that's actually one of the best hands the deck can produce for sure. So it just wasn't. But you I don't have a say, bro? You know what they say. It's not the deck, it's the pilot. Clearly, <laughs> I think clearly, clearly the, that's the case. I clearly. think I'm the right I guy. I would let you know, I would let you know seven. if that set He's was like, not you know what, Ring, actually, I actually I'm gonna was flame. in that game. But Ring just like clearly just ended the game for me. Uh, I'll go second, and uh, hopefully we can have a much better game this time around that doesn't immediately end. Although I'm sure Gage fans love that episode. <laughs> it's like we never fucking left. For that game, so. <laughs> What's the future? God, it doesn't get again. easier, man. <laughs> oh, man, the choice Fuck. has never been so difficult. Right. <laughs> okay. Well, um. At least uh, you're going first, right? There's yeah, no battle right. phase. I'm not yeah, dying, right. so I feel at least a little bit better about this. Okay. All right. I don't. I can start loading up the bin here. I'll dump a, a Krebins. Yeah. Go ahead. I know what you're dumping. I'm not dumping. dumping. I'm, maybe I'm dumping. All I'm gonna dump. Krebins. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. We'll go level eater. Oh, I just realized that the uh, progression series wiki actually hasn't updated since December. Oh shit. That's kind of sad. Huh. I'll pull the Plague Spreader out as well. Those are the big boys you want in the bin, right? I'll throw Mizuki in the mix as well. But the progression playoffs the wiki literally the second finished. Second, whatever, you know, uh, I can't count. This is like the same thing as before for the most part. I'm going to give you the That Mizuki. is why you're a legend. The Danny Mizuki took more Mizuki. L's in the final uh, episode than he did the entire season. You have to get him back into the graveyard. And it I still do, didn't I matter. Do. I gotta set one card here. I'll set another. <clears throat> I'll just pass. Go ahead. 
We'll draw. Uh, we'll go main one. Let's start with good old pot of greed. I'm going to yep. need that this game. I'm yep. shitting and so. farting. Oh, oh my God. We fucking okay. win. We actually fucking uh, win. Not it's too over. bad, actually. Ooh, not, not too, too bad. bad. Do we have uh, a five star light monster we can instant fusion? If so, we just fucking. It's actually over. Oh, could have just. It's set actually the over. Mizuki. Just want to get it into the. Grave. If we have a if we have a light monster. We can instant fusion into it. it's actually over. Do we have Panzer Dragon yet? We don't. All right, let's see what you're. Uh, let's see what you're cooking up over there. I'm in a normal Kaiku. Powerful card. Uh, <clears throat> Kaiku is fine. Yeah. People are allergic to popping off. I swear to God. Try for battle. You were hidden. Um. Yeah, that's fine. It's Goblin Zombie. Sure. And I will utilize the Goblin Zombie effect. Uh, you will. Okay. We have to add a zombie from deck <laughs> with uh, what is it? Twelve hundred or less defense. Twelve hundred or less defense. <clears throat> Pyramid Playing against an E3 deck, I you got to go get Pyramid Turtle here. Pick up Spirit Reaper from that. Could you imagine? That'd be so good. <laughs> uh, we'll just go second main. I know the hand is Reaper, Mizuki, two unknowns, going to draw to a third. I'll just pass. Okay. Um, during the end phase, then. Well, no, here. I'll draw for turn. Stand by main. Mm -hmm. End phase. We're going to, like, power well in end phase? No, I'm still going to make this play, I think, though. This might be right. Um, yeah, end phase, I'm going to wing blast. I'll pitch the Mizuki, and I'll stack the Kaiku. Okay, so in main phase, uh, away he goes. Nice. Um, oh, we might just win here. All right, Alex, for my next trick, I will normal summon Spirit Reaper. Uh, yuck, that's annoying. I'm just going to go battle phase with the Reaper and go three. A little early for this. Think here. Uh, Gores? <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about, about it. So I don't know anything in your hand now because you pitch the Mizuki and you summon the Reaper. I think that's... Mm -hmm. uh, this is kind of cool from Gage to pressure this. I'll take the three. Yeah, he has he okay, has cool. to take it. I random. just hit the crow. You fucker. Not bad. I'm nice. Not bad. I am so <laughs> nice. Ooh, not Damn. bad. So oh, my God. That's a sick one. That's All a right, good so one. So we got to counter Kaiku off the top now. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to activate Plague Spreader. I will top this card, and I'll summon Plague Spreader back. Uh, yeah, I guess that's fine. Sure. And I'll synchro you can't really two. stop that. And I'll make a ally of justice catastrophe. Disgusting. Okay. Not a good card, but uh, I don't get it off the top next turn. This might not have been. So we we might just lose the game here, right? We go I'll DD just, Crow um, one of them. We I'll banish them both from Chaos Orc, and right, then we get sure. Kaikud for our uh, life savings. Like I feel like that's the end of the Stand game. Stand by main. Uh, we don't even have to do a that. Non dark monk. We we don't even have to. We can go DD Crow. We don't even have to DD Crow. We just IF for a guy link or uh, synchro off with the Gale the Whirlwind. That's a dark. Sork banish that's probably like 5k. God, we have so many options here actually. Monster, huh? Is uh convenient for me, I suppose. Could Gage have level leader as a blocker? Do uh, that I is it do five or less than don't five? Don't I don't remember. I think he probably could have. I can. You're gonna be drawing the card you stacked off of Plague last turn. Five or less. So All right, yeah, he could have. Kind of convenient for me. He has crow, okay. though. Well, if we get uh, the crow there is out, a way to do this. you know, we want to try and keep the Mizuki in grave. So uh, here we get to crow for it. We'll still go with it anyway. Uh, I'm going to start by DD crowing your Krebons. Okay. I'll do in, Krebons, actually. In what I'm world your, is that uh, the Mizuki. banish? It's got to be Mizuki. That's what I would have yeah. too. Okay. I mean... It's not gonna matter. That may that may shock you here, because okay. uh, we're gonna we're gonna bring out chaos sword. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. All right, so the BLS out the hand kind of helped a little. Yeah, so we can just so, kaiku well, here. yeah, he got me the light, so I'm not gonna complain. We'll banish him. I'll normal kaiku. This we'll is get in for the 18, end of the fucking game, and then wow. I'll take out the goblin zombie and one of the crew. level leader. Yeah, damn. Uh, <laughs> and that'll be my turn. Go Great. ahead. And I know wow. what I'm drawn into. I'm in trouble. Um, stand by main. Yeah. I wanted to keep the crow in hand just to this like actually over. use I feel it like this actively, so over. but I think this is just cleaner than anything else I could have done. I'll just set a dude and I'll pass. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, we'll That's got to be exactly That's Ryko. Not the worst. Uh, is there a way that I can just kill you here? You're on what sixty two. Uh, yes, there is. Is my math right? Uh, yeah, I think you're dead. Uh, we will go normal Gale. Yep. I'll instant fusion. Mm -hmm. Let's go for our flame ghost. <laughs> the flame ghost. The, the flame ghost. He's coming in clutch. We'll go Brio. Never talk shit about my boy flame ghost again. I know. Yeah, I fine. talked shit yeah, about over. him before, and he's been Damn. coming in handy. Uh, yep. We'll just bounce this. Yep. And then uh, this is game here. 23, so. 23, damn, game. damn, damn. Right, yep. We'll go game three. All right. These decks are right. so explosive. there.
Man, Alex, it's crazy how one singular Kaiku can <laughs> take down one of the most powerful cards in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! Painful Trace, bro. Yeah. Ripped apart my graveyard. All right. I, didn't get to I, I believe. Any of the stuff I, I believe. Um, trying. We're trying. I was telling you during just draw it the third game, time. these games have been tense because both of our decks can just kill out of oh, absolute yeah. Oh, yeah. thin air. And it's so scary. So it's game three will be a good one. I imagine I'm going to be uh, going first You here. are, man. I'm electing you to go first. Try to set up the best defenses you can. I'll be able to tear uh, it. Yeah, best defenses I can. Let's see how many cards I'm going to be setting. Oh, boy. Not, <laughs> All normals. Not many. I'll tell you and that. It's, uh, it's going to be uh, nice a deck. one and a two oh, and an over man, to you, buddy. Dude, go I'm ahead. sorry. Draw for turn. Do you have painful choice for the third I, game in a bro, row? He does, he does. I do. It's just glued I, to your I, hand. I, do, I don't know why. The I wish I was dead difference. Right. Actually, you see this guy here on the right of painful choice? That's how I feel right now. Just agony. Oh, Absolute agony. Kind of yeah, insane, go ahead. Dude. Um... Mm, I gotta think what I wanna. I'm surprised you have to think. I feel like this should be a pretty easy choice. You think for you. it would be, right? You think it'd be pretty easy. It's a little easy. painful. It's, unless you open like triple Krebons or like Mizuki and like everything you want in the grave is in your hand. That would be the ideal circumstance. All right, well, I'm going to start. I'll put all three Krebons in the bin. Okay, none of those are in your hand. They are not. Um, I'll dump an Armageddon Knight. The last card, I will dump. I'll dump a Sangin. Okay, so you always give that's him the strange. So Krebins. to me, Why is he doing this? You, you could have a hand that's Mizuki, Plague, Level Leader, and then two other cards I don't know. I guess that's not, like, impossible, because, like, why wouldn't you just dump any of those if those were all options? I don't know what else is in your hand, obviously. These are just, like, very strange choices. You have no I Krebins, guess right? with this, I'll give you one of the Krebons. Okay. Yeah. I will take one. I don't really want to give you armor or Sangin, so. Okay. All right. Mizuki, Plague, Level Eater, Krebons, two unknowns. Is that the hand? I'm just going to set a card, and uh, I'm going to pass. Wow, am I right? Is that your hand? Okay. Uh, Sure, I'll draw. Uh, now the question is how <sighs> to deal with it. What would you set if that is your hand? You'd probably set Plague, so then you actually have a line. Or at least like an extra extender, because Krebons, Mizuki, Level Eater are all normals. <laughs> I'm gonna flip Plague Spreader. Okay. I'm just gonna poke it. Okay. It's a uh, Pyramid Turtle. Pyramid Turtle. All right, I'll take a thousand. Interesting. I'm surviving uh, the turn. That's what I'm happy about. Second main, you're hundred percent surviving the turn. I will just pass. Okay. Go ahead. So you have a pretty reactive hand. You probably have a crow tucked away somewhere in there. None of those targets are appealing for Crow. That's probably why. Your hand must be, like, super reactive. What are you waiting on? You don't have a line to kill me. That's why we're playing slow Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. Um, all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the turtle to attack. Sure. I'll go battle yeah. phase with the turtle and attack. Whoa, come on. Take eight. It's fine by me. Okay. Main King two. Normal fucking I will set Krebins. one, and I will pass. Go ahead. Draw. Uh, this is a good enough Geki. Again. You know, with how fast those first games went, I don't think I was expecting this first this <laughs> Final game to be such a no, slog. No, I was expecting this. Your to hand be a must be super reactive. No, actually, it's dog like, shit. Thank really you. Quick. Sam's in and out the door easy. He ranked John Cutter. <laughs> I already did. <laughs> what was my already read earlier? Did. Your hand is Krebs, Mizuki, uh, Level Eater, Plague. I think I'm gonna pass. Oh my god, what is your hand? <laughs> All right. I can ask you the same thing. This is criminal. Draw face down has been there since the start of the game. Could be torrential. To be fair, we haven't done much this game. Yeah, I know. I haven't been <laughs> committing many dudes to the board. Can you put Family I'm Guy on again? I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Guy here, you flip it. You get Whoa, value. Chatter, we had 2,993 viewers. Oh my, can we get to 3,000 viewers? And by that, I mean everybody refresh, please. We got to just cheat this real quick. I'm, gonna bet that, I'm just going to have to bet it's not it. I'm going to summon Armageddon Knight and use the effect. That's Finally, a good card. I'm going to dump the Plague Spreader that has been I'm gonna waiting in the deck. All right, so Whoa, we didn't hands. send I'll the Plagues. Mizuki. Okay, I was right with one of them. Yep, I'll go battle phase. Oh, a lot. man. Uh, what are we looking at? 12, 14, 17. So it's 26, 36, 43 total. Uh, what does that put me at? I see 2.6. 19. What the fuck? Yeah, I'll take it all. That's fine. Someone so nonchalant about it. You're going to be spooked. 
Okay. Uh, main phase two, I'm going to exceed into Baguska, the terribly yeah, tired right. Tapir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be the dream. I see 3K. Yeah. I don't know. I was like, <laughs> How can it just be that easy? Come on. Like, there's no good tents. That's weird. Tents don't exist. I wonder why. You see that it say, says current viewer is 29, right? You didn't have like, good weird. generic tens until huh. like 2019. Right, 2020, was he it? It was, it was ages. They heard me asking you to like, cheat, and uh, ever, and they went. I know all the Leo Keeper, the sacred. Some tree people are saying <laughs> three, and some are saying twenty-seven seventy-five. Weird. It's crazy. Hand, I wonder it's, why. We'll, we'll make it work. I'm just gonna pass. Go ahead. You've been playing slow. You got to do something at this point. You gotta I got to do something. 1984. That's what right, I'm seeing. One. Yeah, I yeah, do have okay, Rigeki. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Mizuki and the Pyramid. I mean, great the, that we got to develop the Mizuki. I feel like that Rigeki was so late. Deal, but we have to do. We have to do. Okay, I'm on 19, which is uh, <laughs> less than ideal, I'll be honest. You still got a bunch of cards in your hand that you're not really doing much to. I know you're trying to also play conservatively as well. I'm just so curious about, like, your hand has to be some turbo ass, bro. Like, you have to. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the deck is not very and, good. And, like, I mean, I he's know, got yeah, a bunch like, of fucking chaos like, guys, but no light <laughs> like, monsters. The deck lost. is bad. I know your hand Gage. is still... You gotta Rebs, understand the deck is just not you good. Have the level leader in hand. I mean, you could have not. You could have dumped it, or you could still have it in deck. I'm gonna dump the plague. Uh, I was right on the Mizuki, so then that's what. Krebs, Mizuki target plague makes this DD Crow just like so unknown, high right? value. Could be reactive stuff of your own. Uh, you also just maybe don't want to commit too much. Uh, <clears throat> I think I gotta commit something here. It's not pretty. I'm gonna normal junk synchron activate the effect. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, am I am I crazy? I feel like the only target we have is plagues. Oh, you got. It. It is. Good enough for me. Bring out Plague, yep. and we'll hit you for 13. I'll take it. Yep. Good deck. Uh, and that's it for me. Good. Okay, draw. That's why Stand you're by a legend. Me. Okay. Uh, so I <laughs> bet that you guys... Jaxel, thank you for the uh, I don't know sub. why you would think oh, I would have... Oh, glad to hear that you <laughs> are uh, getting... the last thing on your Lucky mind. Lucky guess, bro. Throw. Lucky guess, I guess. That's I the... will go Mizuki target the Pyramid Turtle. Oh, okay. Right, you good. sniffed it out. Really I good. Have you want to get... I don't know why you would have thought that I would have DD Crow, but, you know... All right. Not too bad. It's too much value. Not good, good, good. Yeah, Played that well. Step one complete. What's next? Play around the second DD <laughs> crow in my head. <laughs> You've not used that back row the whole game. It can't be any. DD crow. We junk target the crow, sink into armory arm, use plague to go into a six uh, with armory arm, and then it's a light, so we go BLS, right? But in the TCG for a short period, junk synchron says, what does it say? It says something crazy, right? The text on it is weird. Never mind. Um, I'm thinking of an interaction with Maxi because Maxi is written crazy. Redder. I'm going to top this card. Second second DD crow? No t no second DD crow. Okay. You're fine. So we'll get Yeah, Maxi says you can't use Maxi for the rest of the turn. So uh, some TCG judges would rule that Junk Synchron can't reborn Maxi if you shotgun it and draw. On res here. What do you got? Uh, thank you. It's, it's being used. Uh, you still got four in hand. Like it gives you a self-prohibition effect. To top, which is good for me, if I can actually capitalize on it. I could actually potentially make you Goblin Zombie shuffle it back, which would be kind of cute. You have to get to that point, obviously. Let me see if uh, I can find the original the text of Maxi. Because anyway, if you go for a synchro play here, Goblin Zombie will trigger. So uh, I'm going to book Plague Spreader. Okay. Okay. All right. That's game. all right. Uh, I'll set the Plague Spreader. I will snatch steel. Target your Plague Spreader. Wow. Yep. Good enough. Then, uh, Good enough. The Goblin Zombie. And Good enough. It's over. Graveyard. Yep. I'll make Brio. You have your Brio. Yep. We'll go trigger goblin zombie. I'll yeah, you got it. It's fine. Woo! You just bounce and win. Yeah, no, not my, close. My hand was. He, he, every hand was like this. Every hand Feel was all sork. bricky bullshit. No, no I lights. Play so many Zero lights, lights in this fucking deck. Are you deck sure you do go? Because the last deck you played, I, you played one light, bro. You played no, Ryko. He's deck, doing the Mr. Beast. I have shining angels. I have warrior ladies. I have dimensional alchemist. I have so many draw. lights in this deck. And th this time, I just. It, it, you can't think like the, if E3's watching. You can't think like this when deck building for prog. Listen. I understand you want to make like a bad fairies deck and then put some like chaos staples in it. No, it's like it's like um, when two celebrities have a child and the more powerful celebrities genes dominate the chaos genes are going to dominate no matter what. If you include them in the list, we're drawing the chaos cards. It didn't help too that the fucking uh, I, you're never going to hear me say this again. I wish Plague Spreader wasn't a zombie so I could have <laughs> done something. with <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is an eight minute discussion, so I, I'm feeling pretty good about it. <clears> hmm. <throat> 
I died a gauge explaining how wild cards worked with Hidden Arsenal only to slowly realize he got scammed anyway.